got it. Ah. Yes, it's me. <laughs> Today the sun is shining, it's kind of hot, but I'm determined to reach my goal, which is become a racer. <laughs> Someone wise once told me, dreams are like the stars. You can never reach them, but if you follow them, they'll lead you to your destiny. So today in I Got It, I have a special friend, Jasmine Jafar, and he is our national racer. Jasmine Jafar is the new racing sensation from Malaysia. Today, Jasmine is shaking up the British Formula 3 race series. Here, in this car, that's him. At the age of 20, he is not only the youngest, but also one of the most talented drivers. On the track, Jasmine drives up to 250 kilometers per hour, and he enjoys every bit of the speed and excitement. But to have his car under control at this speed, Jasmine needs to be fit and well prepared. I do a bit of simulator to learn the circuits. Um, I do a lot of physical training to prepare before, but not too much before a race, of course. And I have to also eat well, sleep on time, and uh, do a routine. Be very consistent in that, and you'll be fine for the race. Jasmine managed to shake up the international racing scene before he was even allowed to drive a road car. And now, his biggest goal is to become a Formula One racer one day. It's a passion that I've had all my life. Um, racing has always been something that I like. I started at the go-kart track in Shah Alam uh, as a hobby. Uh, I saw kids my age driving at that time and I was so amazed. So I, I, my dad asked me whether I wanted to have a go and I said yes, of course. So the next week I started and, and and uh, from a hobby, it became a, a, a career, so it's been a journey ever since. After his first go-kart ride, Jasman was addicted to it. At such a young age, he was already attending trainings four times a week. Jasman's first victory came when he was only eight years old, beating many of his rivals who were way older than him. At 10, boys normally go to school, do homework and play football with friends, but Jasmine had other plans. He had a target. He chose to race. So he started to train harder and harder. He spent so much time training that sometimes it was not easy for Jasmine to balance between racing and school. It's tough. Like, in the beginning, it was very, very tough. It's about. Uh, I had racing on one mind and, and studies the other mind. But what I learned is uh, to switch on, switch off. You know, the hobby is racing. You know, you understand, analyze what was right, what was wrong. Back to school was switch off, it's school time. You know, I, I have to learn, I have to study. Apa yang dah miss. At 14, Jasman finally made his first big step in his career. He won the Asian BMW Series and became not only the first Malaysian but also the youngest racer to win the championship. Being a junior car racer, the next step for Jasman is getting closer to his big dream of racing in F1 was to make it into F3 first. To achieve this, he had to leave his family and friends behind and move to Europe. That's the sacrifice he had to make. Europe was a level that, that everyone is good, you know, it's like 20 other Jasmans, you know, and uh, to fight for that final 10th, the final minute is, is really mentally strong and, and you have to be ready to fight for that, but it's, 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 it's good, the racing is good, um, the level is very high, the team is very professional and you are closer to the F1 team, so, so they watch you always, always. But it hasn't always been a bed of roses for him. Sometimes he gets into accidents, like this one last year, during round 10 of F3 in Darlington, England.
Well, it, it is dangerous, it is challenging, but I, I was born and I grew up with it. I, I enjoy it so much, and the cars nowadays with so much technology, it's so safe, you know? A racer takes full control of the car behind the steering. There are various knobs and buttons on the steering, and they assist the driver to have full control of the car. On top of that, the LED screen on the steering helps to provide the driver with information about the speed, engine, and gear. The key success in car racing is the aerodynamics. It operates on the same principle as aircraft, but instead of giving it an upward force, the wings at the front and rear of the race car gives it a downward force, making it stay on track. Jasmine's passion and hard work finally got him the second place in British Formula 3 in 2012, his biggest success until now. In order to reach his final goal, the F1, within the next two years, Jasmine will have to train hard in Europe. That means he hardly has any free time. Only twice a year he finds the time to visit his hometown, Kuala Lumpur. But whenever he is here, one of the first things he does is enjoy a day off and go wakeboarding. And he is not bad at it too, huh? The last time Jasman came to Kuala Lumpur, he came even one step closer to his big dream. He got the chance to climb behind the steering wheels of a Formula 1 car for the very first time. This is the moment he has been waiting for so long. However, the race day began wet. Cold rain pounded every corner of the city center, but fans were not bothered, and as soon as the rain stopped, the streets were flooded with people, waiting to catch a glimpse of the young racer. The first, first time I drove an F1 in Malaysia is very, very overwhelming. Um, but I, I felt so happy and excited at the same time. I mean, I, I not try everything, like, everything that I can, so I went through the gears, brake, burn out some more for the crowd and last but not least the donuts that I did. I, to be honest, in the beginning I wasn't allowed to do it because I was inexperienced. Kan? And uh, the engineer told me if, if you're confident enough to do it, do it and if you're not, don't. But I did it so <laughs> I did it and uh, saved the car and it was good. Took a chance. Huh? Took a chance. <laughs> Racing is a sport where you have to die for it, you know, you have to die wanting it, die wanting to win and you know, you sacrifice anything to do well. Uh, that, that's one, one spot that you have to sacrifice for. But, uh, but I, I enjoy that. I mean, I enjoy racing. I enjoy um, learning, wanting to do well. And it's a journey, I must say, because I started at six, now I'm 20, and it's been 14 years. So, Jasmine, any advice for your young fans? My, my advice is just don't, don't, don't give up. If you have that dream, achieve your dream and always, always work hard. And, and I'm assured, I will always assure you that your dream will come true. Passion may take a lot out of you. I know it has, but nothing beats the satisfaction of achieving your goals and dreams. <laughs> so, whatever dreams you have, believe in yourself, never give up.